Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and on today's episode I'm showing you four things that you can add when hosting a Thanksgiving dinner to make it extra special and memorable. so you don't miss anything. Be sure to check the description. I added Amazon links to most of the things shown in this video. And if you use my link, Amazon will pay me a small commission so that I could do more videos like this. Thank you. Okay, so let's jump right in. Four things to make Thanksgiving dinner extra special. One, hot cider when hosting a dinner party it's important to create different focal points and what better way than a hot cider station apple cider in a crock pot either homemade or buy your favorite store-bought brand let it simmer all day and to make it extra special float a couple cinnamon sticks and a couple anise stars in it also you could float a pomander ball in it that's an orange that's decorated in cloves made into a beautiful design Oh, smells heavenly. The whole area looks so pretty. Each glass gets a six inch cinnamon stick and a fun charm so that they could identify their glass. You can keep out a couple bottles of alcohol in case someone wants to add it to their glass. I like having spiced rum and apple brandy on hand. Perfect for the season. It's so nice to have this section all set up the whole time so your guests could keep coming back and help themselves. Two activity worksheets. I like to have fun activity packets with pencils waiting for our guests when they get to the table. Sometimes I have them on the chair. Also for the little ones, I have kid activity placemats along with crayons. And yes, everyone does have to fill them out because it's always a lot of fun going around later and sharing our answers with everyone. Don't forget to have everyone name and date them so they can be saved with your decorations to reminisce every year. Three games we love to play thanksgiving bingo with prizes bingo is a great game to play it's fun it's easy and you can play while still holding conversations and it's so much fun making the baskets and picking out all the different types of gifts for prizes it's nice to have a designated area to keep them out during the party and then to transfer them to the middle of the dining room table when it's time to play as an incentive during the game i find the best time to play is after everyone eats usually before or during dessert those little calling cards that are really tiny and sometimes it's hard for everyone to see them around the table a little trick Take a picture of them with your phone or with your tablet and hold that up instead. It's a lot easier for everyone to see. Four, bay leaf burning. It's keeping with the whole thankful spirit of Thanksgiving and incorporating some spirituality and manifesting magic. Every guest gets a bay leaf and with a Sharpie, they write on it their intentions and wish for the year. It can be a word, a sentence, a drawing, a symbol. They can share it or not totally up to them. Then we burn them. I put a tea light candle in my cauldron and with my designated tongs, one that I use purposely for this, holding the bay leaf up to the flame to burn. As it burns, I have them concentrating on their wish, picturing it already coming to pass as if it already happened. I have them holding on to their intent. I'll have a video coming soon all about bay leaf burning, explaining it in more detail. So you don't want to miss that. Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And in the comments, please share what you add to your Thanksgiving dinner to make yours special, because I want to know. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.